Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. Can I just say I love your plates? These things are beautiful. Anybody have a Zimmer? Uh, yeah. That challah was unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Wow, that looks fantastic. No way, did you make this yourself? Are you kidding me? This is this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow, this water is incredible. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm so sorry. Give me one of these. <laughs> okay, so in this week's Parsha. Okay. I'm sorry, I always do that. Clumsy. Oh boy, that was good. <laughs> I'm gonna unbuckle the belt now. A little niggin? Huh? Na, na, na. Rebbe tried to teach us Torah each and every day. Let me get that for you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get that. Let me just talk about the Yankees, Dodgers, and the Mets. Oh my gosh, where are you from? No way. You definitely know the Golden Burgers. The Schmitz? Friedman. Yossi? The Rugged Suffers. The Doodle Snarts? Zwedenthal's. <laughs> What a story, Mark! Whoa, 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 whoa. my machrone! Come on, it's chiyuv. You didn't wash. You didn't wash. You need to wash here. No way! You were at the Weiss's wedding. Me too. How do you know them? Ah, uh, what's shot? <sighs> Won't you stay with us for Shabbos, minion man? Yeah, can I just have a little bit of salt? Thank you. Pass the salt, please. Oh, it's great. Just a. Ah, uh, just a bit of salt. I would just like salt, actually. Please, can I have salt? What do you mean you don't have chillant? Whoopsie, we're playing a little footsie there, aren't we? Thank you so much for having me. You guys are like the absolute nicest. The covered shop is Kodesh. Oh, can I have the salt, please? The covered shop is Kodesh. Oh, great vort. The covered shop is Kodesh. Thank you very much. The covered shop is Kodesh. This was really nice. Wait, it's not Shabbos? So then it's just another day, and there's just another daf? Hey, everybody, so today's daf is Kuf Dalit. That's 104. Why are that lights going on and on? Let me close the shades. And 104 is a real big number. And since we were talking about the amount of letters that you need to write on Shabbos for it to be a problem, why don't we just discuss, you know, the entire alphabet? So apparently there's a bunch of ways to break down the meaning of each and every letter in the alphabet. And I'm going to run through with you guys one way in which we go through all of the letters and different meanings that they have. I am not going to pretend to understand why or how to use them or what they're supposed to do with it or how it makes any sense or anything like that. I'm just going to give you the information that I read today. So Aleph and Bez is Aleph and Bez and Aleph and Bina. Bez standing for Bina, meaning learning and then understand. Gimel and Dala, Gimel standing for Gimel and Dala standing for Dalim, like helping out the Hey and Vav equals Hashem's name. Zion and Ches, I guess meaning that if you do those things, you will be Zan and Chain. You will be given food and uh, favor. Tes and Yud, Tes being Metiv, although it doesn't begin with a Tes. Yud being Yerusha, things will be good for you and you will have a great inheritance. Kaf stands for Keter. Like a crown. Lamed is le'olam haba, for the world to come. Mem actually has two letters, one in which comes in the middle of words, or the beginning of words, and the other at the end of words. And one of them has to do with the open and revealed elements of Torah, and the other has to do with the closed and concealed elements of Torah. Same thing with Nun, which is a different letter for the end of a word, and it describes different types of people who are faithful. Asamachayim, samochani, meaning supporting the poor. Pe stands for pe, a person should know when to speak. Kadosh meaning holy, but in this case we're just using it to have God's name, and then Russia for Resh, meaning a wicked person. Shin stands for Sheker, a lie, false, and a test stands for MS. But again, it doesn't start with a test. Anyway, I don't really understand a lot of these things, and there's a lot of different ways that they break down all of the different meanings of the alphabet, depending on how you're analyzing it, but it's just important to understand that the Gemara is not a joke. It's a very serious body of information, and there is real deep meaning to actually everything that I've said. Granted, I don't have any access to it. I hope to get there, though, real soon. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. This wraps up day 145. We'll see you guys tomorrow.